Hello, my fellow Info Warriors. Alex Jones here with a special report uh, that we're sending via email directly to subscribers to our free newsletter, The Info Wars Insider. Uh, if someone has forwarded you uh, this report and you'd like to get future reports that we send out at least once a week, uh, we're going to start sending these out basically every day uh, in the near future. You can simply go to InfoWars.com and on the right hand corner of the page, you'll see a banner that says InfoWars Insider, and you can just enter your email address there if you wish to get these video reports and text reports. Now, tomorrow, we're going to have a special report that I'm going to air on the radio and stream at PrisonPlanet.tv that will also be copied over uh, to our YouTube channel that is of the greatest importance. And I shot this report in the last few days and it's basically complete right now. We're just adding news articles and uh, more research. And there was one area that I meant to get into in that report that isn't going to be in the report, so I'm going to cover that now. Uh, but first, I want to give you an overview of why uh, I'm uh, making a big deal about this, because in, in my view, it's the biggest deal. It is the biggest threat uh, to the, the human species and to humankind in my research, and that is uncontrolled uh, genetic engineering. I don't normally make a video about a report that's about to come out. I just released the report, but I cannot find words to describe how grave a position we are in as a species. Uh, we have death-loving, degenerate, psychopathic globalists who are in control because they're ruthless and murderous and cunning, but also because we've been naive and we have shirked our responsibility and lived in denial. Now, what is the big issue I'm talking about specifically with uh, genetic engineering? The Australian, British, and Canadian newspapers um, in the last four or five days ran the headlines like this Daily Mail article uh, titled, 150 human animal hybrids grown in UK labs. Embryos have been produced secretly um, for the past three years. And immediately upon uh, reading this about crossing humans with different insect, uh, animal, uh, reptile genes and implanting human embryos, clones, cross species creatures uh, inside the uteruses of cows for organ harvesting later. Uh, when I saw this article, here's the caveat, I remembered that I have seen this countless times before. Going back 15 years ago, I saw BBC reports and others that said human embryos cloned. Well, that's a politically correct way of saying humans cloned, but they get away with uh, saying it doesn't violate human rights by saying, well, they're babies. They're little embryos and we terminate them uh, before they uh, grow to too large a size. And so that's how they always have new articles every year saying, three years ago, secretly in labs in Costa Rica, or five years ago, secretly in labs in South Korea, or five years ago in labs in Canada, or three years ago in labs in England. So for at least 15 years, they've been saying three years ago or five years ago. It, it varies, but it, it's always three or five. In fact, back in 1996, uh, that was in the BBC. It said, well, they didn't want to scare the public, but for five years, uh, they first cloned uh, human embryos uh, in England. And, and then they have a debate about, are they human? Do they have rights? And then I saw articles over the years, going back even a decade ago, well, we're mixing other animals genes with these clones so they don't have rights because they're not human. This is like H.G. Wells, The Island of Dr. Maru. He also wrote books close to 100 years ago about atomic weapons, 40-something uh, years before they were developed. So it, it, it's, it's uh, pretty clear uh, he was part of the Futurist Society and things that there's a lot of technologies that have been suppressed. And if we are hearing in the last 15 years about secret cloning projects, and crossing humans and animals, uh, imagine what we're not hearing about. A lot of the experts we've talked to believe this has been going on for decades uh, earlier than we're told. The Nazis reportedly, a lot of reputable research shows, were able to clone rabbits. 
Uh, and, and, and speaking of rabbits, just to illustrate my point about uh, this Daily Mail article about three years ago, or more than three years ago, more than 150 uh, human-animal hybrids uh, were created. I wanted to pull up this ABI Medical Commentaries article. This is from um, Brisbane, uh, Courier Mail uh, originally uh, published it. Human rabbit clone announced and no nose twitch. I guess because rabbits twitch their nose. So they just make a joke and it says, Chinese scientists have created hundreds of human rabbit um, hybrid embryos, the world's leading science journal, Nature, announced last week. So, uh, you know, we're being told this just happened secretly in the last three years by the Daily Mail, and this was on July 25th, and then here's one from eight years ago, 2003, in the uh, Courier Mail. And, and I've got a bunch of other examples of this. Uh, here's one from three years ago, 2008, April 2nd. We have created human-animal embryos already, say, British team. And then they go on and say this has been going on for a long time. And this is from, um, again, April 2nd, 2008, and that is the Times of London. Uh, here's another one. Now, 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 here's the point I'm not going to make in the special report coming out tomorrow that we're begging folks to get and get out to everybody. Um, and it's going to be, again, on the YouTube channels, so but it has the maximum viral spread to try to at least cause some type of sane debate uh, about this. Um, this is from CBS News um, several years ago, February 11, 2009, my birthday, and it says, Eve, first human clone. And uh, it just gets into saying, you know, Eve was cloned from man and then they've got other articles talking about the Raelian cult uh, led by a guy that looks like Ronald McDonald uh, out of France uh, who said that the aliens made humans and they're all going to live forever because they're clones. And uh, The media covered that and they're hoaxing, uh, saying that they'd hired scientists to create clone babies and that they were the first to clone to then discredit that cloning's going on. All the scientific journals admit it is going on and mixing humans with animals. I mean, this is nightmarish stuff. And then meanwhile, there's always this backdrop with the general public. Because when I talk about cloning going on, I get emails going, that's been discredited with a link to the Raelians. We're not talking about the Ronald McDonald lookalike uh, and the Raelian cult, okay? We're talking about the Journal of Nature. We're talking about the Times of London. We're talking about the Daily Mail. We're talking about... Uh, Chinese government announcements, courier mail, okay? So this is really going on. They did the same thing with uh, cold fusion you know, back in the early 90s saying, oh, these scientists ran a hoax, you know, ha <laughs> ha, a mayonnaise jar, ha <laughs> ha. And then meanwhile, there have been tens of thousands of confirmed cold fusion experiments before that and since where major universities have confirmed, yes, it does work. We don't really know how to capture the energy. And it doesn't create a lot of energy on the scales they've done, but, but it's real. So basically, they bring out stories to claim that they're a hoax just in the public's mind so folks kind of stay in what Alan Watt called uh, this antique reality, uh, this kind of frozen reality where we think we're on the cutting edge, but really compared to what the technological superstructure uh, has created, we're, we're in the Flintstones era uh, here. So you've got this breakaway technocracy that is getting the life extension technologies and the gene therapies, and then we're just given the garbage. Uh, and, and there's no doubt that that's going on. There's no doubt that, you know, 20 years after the stealth bomber was already in service, they rolled it out in the late 80s. There's no doubt that they, they're still telling us the SR-71 Blackbird, built in 54, in service by 59, you know, reportedly can go like Mach 5 or faster, and it's really a space plane. It can fly to the edge of space. They still tell us that's the fastest aircraft uh, in the world. I mean, do you, do you really believe that? And you saw the whole Bin Laden murder thing, you know, killing, assassination deal with the weird-looking space helicopter that crashed. I mean, we're not in Kansas anymore, as I like to say. Uh, so I think this is bigger than the NFL not shutting down. I know that was the, the, one of the biggest news items in the last week, and I reportedly got 400 times the searches on Google than uh, debt ceiling. Uh, people have really got their priorities screwed up, and that's been done by design. Uh, the fact that they're splicing humans and animals really destroys the dignity of humanity. 
And it also can give rise to cross-species zoological diseases getting into humans, and the GMO uh, crops we're eating are being engineered to sterilize the population. We have the documents on that. I mean, this is heavy stuff. We're living in a compressed, uh, stagnant, false, artificial habitat. Uh, we are living in a controlled, almost matrix-like system, uh, being fed pure propaganda and slow-killed, and it's time we talk about it. So thank you for watching this special uh, InfoWars.com Insider Report, and uh, please share this email video with everybody you know, uh, and the uh, text article that Kurt Nemo has put together today uh, dealing with uh, the rollout of the new branding of white al-Qaeda, uh, as we predicted, with the whole uh, very... Uh, uh, fishy uh, event in Oslo, Norway. Again, I'm Alex Jones reporting from the front lines of the Infowar. Thank you for watching.